Alrighty, guys, enough fun with that for the time being. We're going to get right into this knife round right now, and there you go. Affinity starting it off. Abe's going to be able to draw first blood. Pex down and out. Fox going to find one. Jason R. on the board. This could be a flawless knife round, and it is. Davey with the final one, and there you go. Affinity's going to get the pick of the litter. Probably going to start on the CT side. I say probably, but the terrorist sides have been so strong. Who the hell knows anymore? Hmm. Got a lot of that, that rave action energy in your body right now, don't Woo you? Woohoo! I'm so torqued! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Come on! Here we go into the pistol round. Affinity gonna start off on the CT side. Jason R. Davey, Aria, Abe, and Fox. Some pretty known players on there. Abe, the former Luminosity member from a couple seasons ago. Starter for them. Aria, former Luminosity player as well. And then we're going to have Max, Aki, Monty, Vez, Disciple, and Pex. We saw a dominant performance from them on Inferno earlier against Mousepad's 16-3 victory. Moses, take us away in the pistol round, good sir. Uh, it's going to be a fast Halls push, and there's no stack there, so Pex is going to get the opening kill onto Davey. They're going to slow it down. They have a minute 20 to work with. You don't need to hit this bomb site, and it looks like... Vez is actually, he's right above the boost, and they're going to come back towards B. Vez is going to try and find an opportunity to lurk into this into this drop spot. Be able to bail him out. So he does drop down. He doesn't do it silently, but now he's through, and he's going to coordinate this hit. There's only Abe over in the chicken coop. He's going to get sprayed down. He hasn't fallen yet, but he's stuck back there. There's nothing they can do, and that's, once again, that wall is spammable, so... They're going to get this B bomb, so they're going to get the bomb planted. Arya does get one. Abe falls, but it is going to have to be a three-on-three -three retake for Affinity. Right you are, and we're going to go right into a three versus three. Just like you said, the Tech 9 from Pex. The Wiggle, Wiggle, Wiggle trying to get those frags, and he's going to be able to pick off one. Looking for a second one. He's going to get that as well. Can he get the third? No, he cannot. Arya is going to be able to take him down, and it's now down to a two versus one. Arya has picked up the double so far. He's got to go for the quad and the defuse. He does have a kid as well to work with, and peeking around the corner is going to be Monty. Takes him down, and ace on the board early in this one. Now we saw the same thing from Luminosity. Can they hold on in the late game? Yeah, what? What a round there from Pex. Four kills on that round. So quickly out to a big lead. He gets the open and kill. They rotate back towards B and that Tech 9 just doing work. But we are going to see that second round by Arya's picked up a scout. And he actually loves, he, he just loves finding spots to do a jumping scout. I see it all the time for him. Wherever he goes, it's usually a jump scout positioning. The rest of them have pistol armor behind him to kind of bail him out. And look at this push. Actually, it looked like Fox wanted to push up. And he is. He's going to push through that smoke. Arya just sun zooms at the wrong moment. But he does actually tag Disciple on the second shot. And they've got to be very careful. Fox has found his way, but Disciple, not falling for it, takes him out with a nicely placed Tech 9 shot. And again, that man advantage going the way of the terrorist side. Arya with the scout. He's going to be all the way over in the A halls trying to pick out something, but that bomb has already worked its way into the backside of that B bomb site, getting planted behind the fountain. And again, there you go. Vez watching the flank. Going to be able to spot one. Pex with the Tech 9 chimes in with one as well, and now it's all going to be down to Abe, who's getting. Run amok! Pex again with a strong start in this matchup, and Arya looking to save that scout. He's going up into the old sniper tower and terrorist spawn, and there isn't going to be much of a chase down in this one. Well, they are kind of filtering out of that B-bomb site, so maybe we're going to see a little bit of action coming his way, but he should be pretty safe up in that tower. It's like uh, Rapunzel right now. Let down your hair! <laughs> Alrighty, then. Rapunzel in here, so Arya is going to actually... Well, last night we had Snow way. White. I don't know if you didn't see that, so we had Snow no, White last night. It's Disney, Disney Princess Week on the ECA. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have fun. You got to have fun. 2-0 for Ace, though. Come on, man. Come on. Ace going to be in the lead. 2-0 right now. Affinity still going to be on the eco. They are going to be just resigning to default pistols with the exception of Arya, who was able to salvage that scout from the last round. See if he can put it to work this time with Buyaka 4 in hand. Here we go with that SSG. He's not going to be able to find anything just yet, so they are going to be going for a quick push towards the B bomb site once again on the terrorist side. And let's see what they've got for us here. His disciple already at the point. He is flash banged out. But Pex again, Tech 9 is going to do work. Max Aki getting into the action. Disciple pushing around from by dropping. Oh, Abe's chasing him out, but Abe can't get it done. Finally able to find that frag. And in the meantime, Arya went down as well. And now Pex trying to wiggle him down, and Vez is going to go bail him out. And that's going to be a 3 0 scoreline for Ace and another strong stand from them. Yeah, a nice a nice sequence of uh, those anti-ecos. Only losing one player in both of them, so very, very well done by Ace. Some nice entry frags with that Tech 9, but heading into this first gun round, they do have two Galils that they're not upgrading, so building a little bit of economy off that decision, that's very, very nice. They do not have an AWP. We've seen that op be very, very effective, although on the T side, actually, tonight on Cobble, the, uh, the op hasn't really done too much. 
Well, Vec had a couple of pretty good impact rounds with it in the late game. But uh, again, we're going to have to see what they position. got. He's pushing up in these A-Halls, looking on the stairwell. He falls back just at the right time, but... Pax and Monty are looking for it, but there are two members over here. That's Davey and Jason R. They're going to be guarding this down. And Monty wisely jumps across, gets the peek. He's going to force Davey out, messing with the recoil. Davey's spraying, can't connect with anything. That's going to get a little bit scary. Yeah, but he did manage to damage Monty down to 33 points of health. Oh, and Pax took a straight bullet as well, but Jason R. down and out. Max Aki coming around from the long A is going to be able to take him down. And now we're going to be on that man advantage going the way of the terrorist side once again. So Ace doing a great job early on in this matchup. That's going to be a smoke for the top side of the back halls. And that's going to be Davey going down as well, overextending his welcome there at the back hall of A. He's going to meet his demise in the hands of Disciple, who's already picked up one for the round. He's sitting on two HP, but that's going to be okay. That rotation a little lackadaisical here from the terrors, or from the CT side, but they're reading it right. They're pushing it towards B and Vez. Going to get caught out, and there's another one. Fox doing a great job at the backside of that B bomb site, but Max Aki fully blind. It's going to be able to find one. Arya is going to chime in with one himself, but he's going to immediately get traded out. Pex going to be able to find that, and now it's going to be down to Abe, or pardon me, Pex and Disciple versus Abe. And this two versus one. Yeah, Pex needs to be patient here because Disciple is very, very slow on the flank. Two HP, but Pex is going to go for the plant. Abe has worked his way perfectly. Great movement from Abe. He it's doesn't realize that he's getting flanked. Oh, that's oh. unfortunate. It looks so good, but Disciple with that very, very slow flank. Only two HP. Didn't want to be too aggressive. He does end up winning it nicely. And that was actually a scary round in a five on three. Ace Gaming almost blows an affinity with some nice, uh, nice defensive stands there. Brings it into a one-on-one, -on -one, but that's going to be 4-0 for Ace Gaming, so keep it up that tear they were on earlier on Inferno. Yeah, and again, that's going to keep the money situation very abysmal for the Affinity side, and if they're continuing to eco, that's really going to put Ace Gaming into a good position to take a very solid terror side half here. We saw it happen on Cash last night in a couple of the matches where they kept breaking that economy. The CT rifles, they're so expensive to buy, and to buy them over and over and over again, it's very, very difficult to get that money situation going. Fox down. Vez around the corner is going to be able to find one. He's got another one to beat. That's Abe hiding all the way in the back corner there. That same spot that Nafli was playing in the previous matchup. And we'll see whether or not he can make them pay. That Molotov is going to flush one out. Vez going to get taken down and oh, not able to find it. But Jason R is going to be able to find one. Arya goes into one as well. So it's equalized onto a two versus two. Max Aki with the AWP looking for those off ranks. Oh, oh, what a shot, Jason R. The Desert Eagle to the dome takes him down and now it's all down to Pex in a one versus two. Last round, it came down to a 1v1 with very low HP for Disciple, but now it's Pex only on 19. The bomb is in hand, but he has yet to put it down. Yeah, he's got a lot of time to work with, though. He's got about 45 seconds right now. I mean, obviously, the HP is not anywhere near where you'd want it, but he's got time to reposition himself if he wanted to go back towards A. Or also look for this pick on Arya. He's waiting for him to peek here, but Arya's playing it very, very smart. They're giving him the plant if he wants it, because that'll isolate him. That'll, that'll keep him cemented inside the bomb site behind that fountain. So Pex is going to try and get aggressive. He's kind of stalled out here, though. And he's very, very quickly running out of time. He still has 20 seconds to work with. He's just going to go full aggressive here and try to hunt down Arya, who's worked his way all the way out of drop, all the way into that CT connector towards the B-bomb site. And now he's going to resign all the way to the site and try to get that bomb down. And if he's able to get this plant, that's going to put money in the bank. So at least it's all not for naught. And oh, he's going to actually go ahead and peek out and takes one down. But now Jason Art biding his time behind the rock. And he's doing it the right way. He's going to be able to peek out, takes down Pex. So no additional coin for him. And without that bomb plant, we might see... Nope, they've got plenty of money on the terrorist side. Yeah, but a nice round for Affinity. That one dig by Jason R just saves the day. Nice shot from him. So Ace Gaming does drop one, but like you said, they rebuy behind it. But look at this. Here we are on the Affinity side. They came out. They're coming for blood this round. they got an AWP in Arya's hands. Abe has picked up the auto sniper. He's going to take that over towards B, so a double scope setup, and this, uh, his auto sniper can mow people down on this map. Well, let's see if he gets a chance to put it to use, as he is going to be working his way all the way behind Fountain in the B bomb site. That is smoked off, but that action is going towards the A bomb site. Monty's going to draw first blood. Arya's down and out. Jason R gets the trade. But Monty goes right back in him. He's already got a double on the round. That's the second time they've done that, that, that stack. Two players over towards long A, and it's, it's not working out for him. It's gotten blown up twice now. Davey does equalize things at a 3-on-3, three three, got aggressive in connector, and they're still committed right now to this A bomb site because the bomb is over there. Maxaki just washing their flag with the AWP. Davey's going to oblige him. Did he misses the shot? Just only saw his foot. This is all going to be on Fox in that A bomb site, and Disciple's going to be able to take down Davey, so no trades really being allowed here for the CT side. And no rotation from Abe either. He is a mile and a half away from this A bomb site, and they are creeping up. And Fox, 
He's got it all to do right now. He's got to be able to hit these shots, got to be able to drop them down as they make their way up. But he's getting slowly flanked out from the CT spawn. Yeah, he, turns he around. gets that oh. opening kill. Is he going to find it? He does. He recovers. He just taps Disciple with a bullet. He was at red, but there's Vez with the trade kill. And now Abe has finally come over here. He probably can't stop the plant, but this will be a one-on-one -on -one situation in which he's very, very close. He lost a 1v1 earlier. He is going to go for the peak. The auto sniper in hand, and he gets the instant headshot. Nice job from Abe. Second round on the board for Affinity. Yeah, I, well, I, once again, just get the bomb down. Get the bomb down. Play the one-on-one. -on -one. But, you know, he fakes it, goes for the wide peak. The auto sniper takes him out. Another nice round for Affinity where where they pretty much got, you know, their their defense in that long A hulls got blown up again. It was a four-on-three, and once again, they recover very nicely from a man disadvantaged position. Oh. So, yes. Uh, Monty down to 64 from a knife in the back. Well, okay. How many times did we see that happen in that, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. for mouse spaz on the for Inferno? Spaz. Now they, they're like, all right, well, we'll just do it to ourselves again. They're going to go for a very fast push and Abe down the auto sniper out of their hands, but Fox with a quick double of his own. And they do get that bomb plan. Fox is going to find a third, but that's going to leave it all on Monty now. He's still sitting at 64. Well, you know, if he had 100 HP, that nade wouldn't have killed him. Jeez, that auto sniper. Abe got dropped so incredibly quickly. That was unreal. Poor guy. Risky play from uh, Abe getting in the back by the chicken coop again. That's such a spammable spot, even with the Tech 9s. They are going to look to salvage that, potentially, I believe. Yeah, they do. They have yeah, it on Jason already. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, he, he didn't even get spammed. He just got dropped. Like, just, just clean Tech 9. Just, uh, I think two of them, two separate Tech 9s must have hit him right in the face immediately. So, almost works out in their way. But, once again, Affinity, like they have the last couple rounds, they recovered nicely despite that. But here's another gun round. Five AK-47s for Ace. I mean, they've been very, very aggressive in overtaking these long A halls early on in the rounds and then and then figuring out where to go from there. But this time it looks like it's going to be a fast B. There's four players for Affinity over here. They're going to go the for reverse boost. Yep, Davey's getting up here right now. And with this Molotov down, Ace might not be prepared for this. Yeah, this is a great play here from the Affinity side. He's going to be able to peek out and takes down Pex immediately. He doesn't... Don't... What? Somehow yep. he got that second kill. Not really sure. He was backing off and dropping down. Yeah. Managed to pick up two. Great job from Davey and a great read from Affinity as well. And Abe, again, the auto sniper, going to rain some death down as he's got a clear line of sight all the way down to where that bomb carrier was coming from. They've got one more member over by drop, and Fox is going to be holding that angle. He is supported by Davey. Another Molotov around. He is going to go for the peak, and Vez is going to make him pay for it, so it's not all for naught, but that auto sniper is coming under fire now. Disciple trying to get him down. And there's the headshot. Abe's going to be able to locate that one. Bomb still dropped outside of the B-Halls. Vez has worked his way out, drop, and Davey is around the corner, but he's not going to peek the right angle at the right time. And Davey and Abe going to do work this round and take him down, tied up 4-4. Yeah, a couple nice rounds from Infinity here. It's going to force another eco on Ace Gaming, I believe it. And oh, it looks like Pex is going to buy out, so Monty has the money. I mean, this is going to be a pretty beat-up buy. Exactly, only with the Tech-9. Disciple picks up a Tech-9 as well, so they are going to force here, and that's kind of interesting because they haven't had an answer. This Auto Sniper is wreaking havoc at the moment with the op in their hands as well. It's going to be interesting to see where they decide to go. Where do they think the weakness is? Because it looks like they just want to do another heavy B play again. Have we decided the official way that we're going to be saying Maxaki's name? Is it Maxaki? 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 Maxaki. I believe it's Maxaki. Something along those lines. Pex, Pex mentioned it to me. It's like a sharp A sound. Uh, you know, We'll have to ask him for the actual... Actual McSakey? pronunciation at some other time. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, Arya playing very aggressive by drop. He's going to lob a nade in there. They might be able to swarm on him. That smoke is going to be right in his face. He drops a nade through. He turns his back. They drop out the window. They have yet to commit to that, though. That's going to be Disciple hiding behind that smoke. And Arya is going to make one pay. And still trying to push out. Pex is going to go down. Jason R with a nice frag. Still looking for some more. One more and drop. Jason R is going to find that. Abe again with the auto sniper. And Jason oh, R through the smoke. Lord. And it's just complete decimation at the B bomb site. Ace Gaming find another avenue in. This one's locked down. That is insane. Abe had 5 HP for so long there. They just needed to connect with one more bullet through the wall and they couldn't do it. So just running into the brick wall that is the scope setup. Even Arya rotating over with that ADP and the connector just picks one off as well, trying to make his way into the bomb site. So. No real answer ever since this combination was picked up by Affinity. And so far, good string of rounds from them. Five in a row, so they're getting that economy built up here. The only one with not a lot of money is Fox, who's also died nine times every single round. Arya, though, first blood again. You saw Peter do it with the open mid. And this time it's going to be Arya taking down the Swede. 
Yeah, tough luck for him, and here they go again. They're going to try and take, they want to take over towards this long. Jason R is playing right behind that smoke. He's just, he gets a flash, he gets a little bit of pressure put on him, and he just falls back. They have the man advantage, they don't need to risk anything here, but the plan all along is going to be for this bomb to come over towards the B bomb site. Vez and Pex are just hiding at the moment. They're going to have to let Disciple and Monty do some work, get some kind of a fake, get some kind of a rotation going for them to find a window of opportunity, but Fox has got a great position while they're waiting. Yeah, Fox pushed up in the backside of that area, but they do have a nade primed. Maybe Pex is going to sniff this one out and drop a nade right at his feet, but again, that spread on the terrorist side. They're going for a little bit of a fake here. There's three members of the CT force over in this bomb site, and again, Fox, that's really where the action's going to be. The AWP of Arya is going to come out, finds another frag. Monty behind the wall, going to miss that shot. Now they're yeah, creeping up a, Fox. This is, a, this is a pretty obvious fake. It's pretty much red. No one leaving B at all. Fox kills one. Davey's still here. There goes Monty. So it's quickly a one-on-three with Vez. That fake not doing enough damage whatsoever. And Vez just gets sprayed down as he tries to make the jump to the plant spot. So six to four for, for Affinity. They've won the last six in a row. So Ace Gaming came out hot with four straight, but they haven't been able to get anything close. They haven't even been able to really make too much progress. I mean, these rounds have been pretty one-sided the, uh, the past four rounds or so. Alrighty, well, nevertheless, we are going to see Affinity taking a two-round lead as we go into the 11th. So, again, they're fragging together as a team. No real big spread. Three kills from the top to the bottom. Jason R came to play today, though. Nine kills on the board. 12 and 8 for Pex. We saw him start off strong on Inferno and then kind of fizzle out in the late game, even though they were on a 16-3 victory. And now it's just going to be an all-out rush towards the B-bomb site, and that auto sniper in the backside of that site. He might get washed out here, but Davey's going to find one. Fox finds one. Davey with the second one. And that's going to leave it all on the last man standing is Pex. And coming around the side is going to be Davey looking for that kill. Pex is going to be able to clean that up, but Abe is going to be there for the trade. Takes him down, and that's going to be a 7-4 scoreline now. All right, so a T-sided map that we just saw is, is very, you know, CTs are just killing it right now. It's kind of switched around, and it's all up to Abe and Arya with this auto sniper. They're just doing so much damage to Ace Gaming before they can get anything going. And here's a response, Maxaki, and it's kind of unfortunate because he's he's got 140 ping playing from Sweden, so, you know, that's not... They need someone else to be able to, to, be able to counter these AWPs. Absolutely right, and Max Aki, he's got one. He's watching for that mid-push, but that mid-push is not going to be coming here from the CT side. Arya is down there. He's going for the one-way peaks. Flashbang around the corner. He's going to get swarmed. He pulls out the Tech-9, but it's too little too late. Pex takes him down. No trade from the CTs at all, and Davey at the hay cart pushed aggressively down long A. So this is a good position from him. Oh, nice shot from Vez onto Abe. That's the auto sniper down. Disciple goes down. So there's the final trade there, and Davey going to get aggressive here, and that off from Max Aki could punish him, and it does. So down to a two versus four. That bomb going to get picked up and moved over towards that B bomb site. And this is going to be on Fox to try to hold down, as there's going to be four terrorists working their way in. I think he, oh, nope, he didn't. I thought he threw that Molotov a little bit too early, but nevertheless, he is going to be able to get that down. Very difficult position for Fox to be in here. Yeah, and actually he's just going to choose to hide in the chicken hut, which is not, not a bad idea. He's going to wait for these plants to come in, wait to hear the footsteps, and see if he can do any damage and, and put Jason R into you know, a one-on-one -on -one or a one-on-two situation. It's not the worst play in the world, but Ace Gaming's got to be a little bit curious. Oh, there's Foxy Peaks. He grabs two headshots. Nicely done by him. He gets legged, and now he's going to go down to a nice nade from Pex. The bomb hasn't been planted yet. He got dropped, but that play from Fox puts Jason R into that one-on-two. Not There's a good a smoke there from smoke. Pex, and he's going to push on through. Jason R finds one. Can he get the second one? Max Aki drops the smoke right on the bomb, coming around the corner, and not a shot from oh. Jason R. His pistols have been on point this matchup. Sweeping around, clicking on the E button, and he's going to be able to find the defuse. Eight to four for Affinity, and like you said, Fox set him up for it, and Jason R knocks him down. Really, really smart play from Jason R. Pushing aggressively while the bomb was being planted. He knew he had that four-second plant time to find a one-on-one, -on -one, and he wins it, and then wins the ensuing one-on-one. -on -one. So, nicely done by him, and this defense has just been so powerful. Affinity up 8-4 to four very, very quickly. And again, another another kind of old-school storyline there. Jason R., very old-school 1.6 player. I'm sure you remember him from back in the day, Moses. Uh, no, I do not. Actually. Okay, never mind then. This story has no merit whatsoever. Peck's going to get lagged <laughs> at the beginning of this round down to 16 to start it off. He was a premier and invite player back in the Cal days in 1.6. I was, I was too busy winning CPLs to know that. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me, but Vez opens <laughs> up. Nice shot onto Abe. He goes down. 
Did he have an auto sniper again? I think he might have, but he gets cleaned out either way. Davey's now stuck in middle. He's going to try and find a sniper. He does. He sprays him down, but meanwhile, this hit on the B bomb site is going down. Maxaki has that wide angle up on the platform. He's going to swing out into the bomb site because they're going to smoke it off. So they're going to get this plant down, but Fox trying to delay it a little bit longer. Can't connect with the kill. Monty's going to plant the bomb inside the smoke. So it's all up to this retake from Affinity. And again, Vez going to chime in with one. Arya down and out. Now the big peak. Davey's going to find one, but he's going to get traded immediately. But already in the site is going to be Jason R. Sweeping around. He's going to be able to find one. And there's the trade again. But Tex not going to be too keen to lose that one. Max Aki is down to the same two at the end of that one as well. The Pex is going to be able to capitalize. Takes him down. And now we've got an 8-5 to five score line. So the half could be an 8-7. Could be a 9-6. Could be a 10-5. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks, thanks for listing all the possible options. Yeah, there, man. man, there's no... I, I leave but, no stone unturned. Uh, so, that's actually the first... I mean, that's <laughs> that's the first round that Ace Gaming has won in eight rounds. That was an eight round one by Affinity, so... Still so much bank behind it, but actually if they lose this, their economy is going to be very, very weak. And look at how aggressive they're being over towards A. It's just going to be Arya with an A2P. Can't find it. But there's no one actually in the A bomb site. and if Ace Gaming was picking up the speed, then that would have been actually huge for them. But they do kind of fizzle down in the bottom side of mid, and we're going to see whether or not Arya can actually connect with any of these op shots as Peck's still at the mid double doors there. And there's an aid down there. It's going to find maybe a handful of damage, but not too terribly much. Yeah, Monty's over towards B, just trying to lurk it out a little bit, but he doesn't sense any rotations, and his teammates spray down Davey, who got aggressive, actually, like unnecessary aggression. He was on the terrorist side of that, of that middle connector, and... They just maul him, so a four on five here for Affinity. And they've done a, such a good job in this half of overcoming this kind of a disadvantage, but can they do it again? There's only so many times you can do that. Disciple's waiting for more aggression. Monty picks up Abe. And here's Disciple swinging out. Nice headshot onto the Jason R. So the defense here is just getting absolutely picked apart by Ace Gaming. Yeah, now Arya is going to resign himself over towards that B-bomb site, but this is where Monty is, and if he can sniff out one or two of these players, he might be able to make something happen. Ooh, Fox. All right, there you go. Biding his time, playing that angle, didn't check it out, and Arya actually picked up one, so it is a two versus three. This is doable now for the CT side. That bomb's still yet to be planted over there in that A bomb site, and Arya's going to be able to work his way out, and he might be able to get over towards this bomb site. He's going to put some heat on. He's going to get flanked out. He's going to find one. Doesn't hit the duck key fast enough, and now Fox in a one versus two. And Fox coming around the corner. He's going to drop the Molotov into sight, try to flush out Disciple. But Disciple getting up on the sky high, and he's going to be able to take him down 8-6. Yeah, great round from Disciple. There were three kills, including the entry in the last two kills of the round. So he opens it up, and he closes it down. Nicely done from him. And here's going to be that very, very weak buy out of Affinity. So it was an eight-round one. Looked like a very, very good dominant CT side. It's turned into a little bit of a struggle here. In these last three, it seems like Ace Gaming finally figured something out. Arya's only got a scout, three Famuses on the board, and a 5-7. No kits whatsoever for Affinity here. Yeah, very difficult situation for them to be in, and immediately goes down in mid, trying to get a little bit too aggressive for his own good. Arya down, Max Aki picking up the AWP frag. And again, Jason R with a lot of aggression going towards that A hallway, Famas in hand. Not going to be able to find anything over in that area just yet, but Ace down there at the bottom side of mid might be... Keen on pushing up here. The bomb still dropped near T-spawn. Vez, nice shot on the Fox. Going to be able to locate one. And now Jason R stuck down here in the bottom of mid by himself. He's just going to play by the side of the wall. He doesn't have any ter uh, any teammates to drop any flashes, but Vez is going to find another one. And he's doing yeah, a great job holding is, off these pushes. This is just a round. These past three rounds have all been won because Ace Gaming has just been picking apart some of this aggression. And this round especially. I mean, light by players feel like they need to make some kind of a hero play because they don't have the utility to just stand their ground. And Ace Gaming is just punishing it at the moment. So a little bit too much aggression out of Affinity on this last round. They're even nading out Jason R. So they, they're checking this spot nicely. Monty looks the wrong way. Jason R gets it, but he blinds himself and his opponent. So he's bought a little bit of time. But Pax is just going to spray him down at the angle. Just hold Mouse 1 and let him walk into the bullets. And now Avon to rotate. It's going to get smoked out. And in a 1 on 4, not too much that he can really do here. He's going to come up to these vents. He's even mollied off. So everything working against him at the moment. He's got a little bit of a clear line of sight here to try to make something happen over towards this truck. He's going to be able to find one. Now he's going to swing out. He spots out. Pex finds two. Gets a third. Oh Abe, hello. The last player down there in the bottom side of mid, though, is Vez, who's picked up a double himself. And now Abe's going to try to work his way up and towards this bomb site. He's got to go for a 10 second defuse. If he had a kid, he would have won. 
He does manage to pick him up, but he doesn't have time. So that round is going to go the way of Ace Gaming. 8-7 to seven is going to be our halftime score, ladies and gentlemen. Moving forward into the second half. That is... Uh... There, Ace Gaming is very lucky to win that round. That's insane that in a one on four he finds four one on one battles with no kind of trade or rebuttal. Uh, that's just bad play from Ace Gaming. So, despite winning it, that's the round they're going to want to look at after this match and be like, all right, guys, let's not ever do that again. Let's fix it. But Ace Gaming does make a pretty solid comeback there. I mean, it was looking very, very worse, and that defense was so staunch that that op and uh, auto sniper combo was just wreaking havoc for eight rounds straight. And then uh, Ace Gaming wins the first four, and then they win those last three. So nicely done by them to grab those last three. Yeah, good recovery from them. But again, you know, we talked about how T-sided this map can be. Can Affinity put it together as they move forward into the second half? Or is Ace Gaming going to come up big on their CT side? So very close matchup thus far, but I think that the story still is Affinity potentially picking up some more terrorist side rounds here how are they going to execute their rounds are they going to go for those splits because you saw ace they were very spread out on their terrorist side sending three over towards b and two lurking the a halls or vice versa vez kind of lurking over at b and then that mid presence being executed by ace but you know how are affinity going to play this map how are they going to be able to execute these strats to get into these bomb sites and be successful down the road yeah and it, it, it is going to be interesting to see if this was like Oh, a bad T like a weaker T side or, or a stronger defense? Because that we saw earlier it was just so incredibly T sided. Although eight seven is is not a bad scoreline at all for either team, really. So we're pretty pretty close match here, and, and it's going to be all up to you know can the defense is the defensive ace going to be up to the task here? It'll be interesting to see where they play with it because Maxaki with that hundred and forty ping op, I can't imagine him wanting to get too aggressive with it. I mean, you're gonna you're losing out on a lot of battles that way. With such a high ping, you just kind of lose that half second of reaction time. So I'd imagine he'd play a little bit more passive over toward the A bomb site. All right. Well, we are going to be seeing this go live here very, very shortly. But I'm just going to play some music to try to hurry them up because that seems to be the key. So here we go. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird how that works out. I told you, man. Don't don't <laughs> question my tactics. I know how to get these guys to hustle. Jesus. A little bit of a little bit of shout out to uh, Lil Robin, the coach of uh, Affinity, who's in the chat right now, just uh, scouting out how his team's doing right now. They're playing pretty well. All Gotta be happy about that first win on Inferno earlier. Absolutely, one step closer. It's always, it always makes you feel good to get that first W, but nevertheless, we are going to be seeing the pistol round come out for the second half. This is going to decide a lot as we move forward. Who's going to take that momentum early and try to carry on through these gun rounds as well? So we do have one lurker over by the A bomb site. That's Aria Glock in hand, and the rest of them are going to be working their way towards the B halls. So Affinity looking to crush the B bomb site. Yeah, pretty centralized defense, too. Vez is going to spot this drop down. He's not going to be able to connect anything. They're pushing him into CT spot. He's got to get away. He throws out an aid, but he just gets taken out. Too many people, but McSackie's there to back him up. He drops one with a nice headshot. And this attack is going into the A bomb site. It's an A split at the moment. McSackie just gets overwhelmed by Jason R. There's only one lemon left there. That's Pex, and he gets taken out. He does get one. He gets traded off. So it's going to be a 2 on 3 retake, but some decent damage onto Fox and Davey here. Yeah, and I like that strat that they ran there, that drop down and then go straight for a bomb site. Not something that you really see conventional play, uh, conventional teams do. But sometimes to be conventional, you have to go unconventional. So, nice shot from them. Ooh, Disciple, though. He's only on a handful of HP. Just shoot him, but nevertheless, Davey is going to sweep across the APC. Takes him down. 9-7 now for Affinity, and they are off and rolling. Again, we saw Ace win the pistol round on their terrorist side and pick up a couple of rounds afterwards as well. So... Can Affinity push this to an 11-7 to scoreline? Are they going to be able to continue that momentum as they move <laughs> forward? Look at this buy. Three, Three scouts. scouts. Wow. Yeah. So that might be interesting to see where they put those. On the other hand, it's one scout. It's three SMGs and a Galil for the terror side. Affinity looking at it up close and personal. And never stop moving with these SMGs. Maxaki with the, one of those scouts. He does take one, but the jumping scout from Arya responds with a tag. Pex is going to find some damage onto Arya, though. So already a lot of damage being dealt. Oh, and Arya down and out trying to go for the jump scout. Pex makes him pay. So the scout's already yeah. paying dividends here for the CT side. Yeah, Arya just trying to do a little bit too much there. Pex punishes him for it. You're exactly right. But now look at this hit. 
They're down. They dropped down to the dark spot. Monty's in a position where he can't get away. He does find one that's nicely done by him. These scouts have tagged two players so far, and one's very, very low. So these five sevens, this one P250 Vez has got a lot of work to do. He's got some easy cleanups. Baxaki still raining damage with the scout. He's going to find another one. Yeah, and look at how low the remaining two terrorists are right now. They are just bleeding internally, and that nade's going to do a little bit of damage. But just a pistol shot from each one of these CTs will do the job. But Maxaki got another one and Pex with a second. And Ace Gaming pull off the eco round. I can't even call that an eco round. They were heavily invested. Yeah, no, that, that's not an eco. That was a force by there. And look at Pex's scoreline, 21 and 12. Uh, top in the server, playing very, very well. Him and Maxaki did so much damage with scouts that round. So, three scout by works out on the back of most of the hard work of those two players there. But it is going to be another, it's going to be a force buyer in the hands of Infinity here. They buy up armor, they buy some deagles, some CZs, and excuse me, no deagles. Tech 9s and CZ and a P250. And they have plenty of smokes to use. It's going to be a fast ride over towards this A bomb site. Yeah, and again, we're going to see them try to make their way right on up. And Max Aki with the scout still going to be trying to rain death down from the backside of those hallways. And now Pex, he's caught out. He's going to take a lot of damage here. He was able to get one shot off. And Max Aki going for the jump scouts. Not going to be able to find anything just yet. And they're going to swarm. And he has dualies. Jason Ari is going to be able to find first blood. He's going to be able to find second blood. Vez is able to take down Davy in the meantime. And now the MP9 can't control the recoil. And Monty not going to be able to find that frag just yet. Still biding their time. But that bomb plant's going to yield some money in the bank here for the CT or for the terrorist side. Pardon me, as we are going to see them push on out. Smoking out to the left-hand side. Ava's going to go ahead and swing. Going to take a little bit of damage. Disciple with the 5.7 is going to be able to find another one. The Galil coming out from Vez, and now all of a sudden it's down to just Fox, and he goes for the peak and gets punished for it. Vez going to pick up the triple. The bomb is going to get defused, and we are going to be right back to tie ball game 9-9. Nine nine. Nice recovery on the retake for Ace game. That was so scary, and part of it, that setup with Pex playing so far back, and also... Uh, McSaki was just on the balcony jumping over the rooftop trying to spot those halls. They didn't even see the hit coming until the flashbangs and until the affinity players were right on top of them. So far too much map control was given up. Far too passive play. They didn't even see it coming. They, they just got smacked right in the face and, and Pex, you know, blind and they just swing up by the APC. So very, very fortunate they got that retake off in the end. All right. So it is going to be another save here. CZ-75 in the hands of Fox, a couple of Tech 9s and a couple of P250s to work with. So they do have a little bit of an arsenal to try to take one of these two bomb sites. A couple of smokes as well. So we'll see if they, it looks like they maybe want to gear up and go for that pistol round strat again. Flashbang over the top of drop, and that's actually going to be a little bit short. Blinds a couple of them, but they are going to go ahead and drop on down. Try to make their way on around. Oh, that nice nade. nade. There's a lot of damage, and Monty's just going to spray a couple down. He's got to clean things up. He's got three so far. He's so low, though. He can't do anything else. Davy eventually does find him. But now the backups come in. Vez grabs Davy down, so it's just Fox. He's the only one that's left. He does have the bomb, but he's stuck in this vent room, and it looks like Ace Gaming is onto it. And Max Aki not able to locate anything just yet. He's down to 15 points of health, and Vez is going to go ahead and clean that one up. So we are going to see Ace Gaming taking their lead back. 10-9. to 9. CT side looking pretty solid for him so far, but now we actually get our first full con round. So uh, it comes in the fifth round instead of the third like we typically see, but nevertheless, it is going to be AKs across the board here for Affinity. Yep, and Max actually keeping that scout, so playing the economy game, not investing too much into it. Actually, he's down to 500, so his economy is actually surprisingly depleted there. But yep. look at this heavy mid play. He's just playing a bait situation for, for Pex, and he does tag one. Fox down to 30 HP. And Pex just hiding in the corner. Maybe waiting for a pop flash, but Maxaki not throwing it quite yet. Yeah, and if he gets pop flash through, he should be able to pick off at least Jason R, but they're going to work their way over towards the stairs and try to take control of this long A hallway. And again, over the B bomb site, things relatively quiet. You do have a little bit of alert going on by Davey over in that direction, but. Max Aki with the scout, he's playing in a pretty wide open position here. And the rotations are so far away from Ace Gaming, it's just going to be up to these two. That scout's got to do a lot of work. And not able to locate more damage just yet, but Pex down in the bottom of mid drops. The bomb carrier, Davy with the lurk. Going to be able to find one. They don't clear their angles. Max Aki almost had a field day with that Tech 9. Not able to get it done, but Pex is going to be able to locate a second one. And Davy critically wounded both members with a combined total of 11 HP. And that bomb being dropped in the position that it is, Davey is surely going to get taken out here. Pax is just putting in work this match. He's got a triple kill in the round so far. He's got to be careful. Does he turn around? He doesn't. Davey's got to find it. But like you said, both these players, you can breathe on them and they're going to fall over. It didn't work. 
Down to a 1v1, though. And there you go. Disciple is going to be able to pull that one off in the 1v1. A little bit closer than I thought it was going to be as that round was unraveling, though. Yeah, that was uh, and that was actually coming down to that one one pretty pretty solid there from Affinity those two players, but his defense holding very strong and Peck's at twenty four and fourteen like I, he's just having a great match right now. He holds down that mid very very well there. He actually even recovers, and you know it was with that scout back Zach. You could not be effective. He was, I mean he fell back. He did decent damage to that Peck nine, but can't expect him to hold that with a scout. So Peck's actually picks up the reins and takes him out. Very nicely done by him. Yeah, and again, we saw how strong Peck started off on the CT side of, of uh, DE Inferno earlier. Yeah, he's having a good night of matches at the moment. Abe just gets dropped easily by Disciple. Nice shot from him. Takes off the top of his head and... Oh, he finds the seam in the smoke, but Monty's playing at the chicken coop. He's going to do a lot of damage. There you go, Disciple picking off a second one. Vez is going to chime in with one of his own, and now it's going to be Monty in the backside of this site. Can he locate any damage? They're spamming him up. Gonna drop an 8 out, does great damage onto Arya, finally gets the kill, drops the bomb carrier, and now Jason R is gonna be your last man standing. All he needs to do is put one bullet through that chicken coop. Still looking for that deagle frag, not gonna find it. Disciple picks up the triple, and that's gonna be the round for Ace, now with a three-round lead over Affinity. So, again, we're seeing a little bit more of a swing towards the CT side in this matchup versus the last one. We do have a pause in the server, so maybe a potential drop or a uh, tactical pause it's here. It's tactical. Affinity's got to get some idea of what they want to do. They've got to find some kind of success because, I mean, this is they're going to start. It's really, Ace Gaming's really running away with it right now. It's Pex and Max Act over that A bomb. So that's locked down. They've gone, you know, they they go in B and they've just been pretty much shut down the past couple of rounds. A lot of it has been some eco plays over towards that B bomb site, but they're not really finding any openings even then uh, that they feel like they can exploit. So trying to pick something that they can do. But a great defense. Ace Gaming have a night of a, a couple good matches here. And uh, don't forget, guys, while we're paused, next match is going to be the last one of the night. It is going to be Elevate versus CLG. That'll be on Mirage. That's going to be a good one. So stick around after this. I heard you got my Twitter notification. Oh, uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, nevertheless, I mean, you can't really discredit anything that Pex has done. 24 and 14 on the ra on the match so far. But look at Vez also. He's had two really good matches as well on Inferno, holding down the banana bombsite, getting a lot of kills through the smoke, spamming away, and holding down banana like a boss. He's sitting at 20 and 15 right now. So him and Pex have been combining to do a lot of work. Disciple had a great match on Inferno. He's sitting at 15 and 14, relatively quiet for his team. But uh, nevertheless, we do see them go ahead and pie up their rifles for this round and maybe Affinity trying to figure out what they want to do. Where can we exploit some sort of a weakness that they have? And right now, I feel like that's going to be over at the A bomb site. But with Pex playing as well as he's been playing in these last two matches, I just can't see him really getting in, getting in there without too many casualties being lost. Uh, the real question is, where's Ari going to bring this AWP on the T side? You know, where does, where does he think that he can go for the pick that's going to give him an opening they need? Because we saw him with the scout on the second round, he got a little bit over aggressive, overstayed as well, and got taken out by by another scout from from Pex and Maxaki combined for that one. So he's going to go over towards B. Look at this boost, Maxaki up on top. Interesting decision there. They're playing three over at A, so this is kind of curious that they're playing this so is, heavily in A. Yeah, that's where he was playing actually on the uh, on the third round, I believe it was, with a scout, but he was jumping instead of being actually boosted, but you're right, this is a heavy investment of manpower. That guy on the bottom, that's someone who's not gathering information, he's not smoking off choke points, and this is going to be very dangerous for Ace Gaming as this B-Execute comes in. Alright, well what's Disciple got for us? He's got a pretty good line of sight on behind the boxes, but they're going to swing out, they don't check the boost! He's going to be able to draw first blood and takes one down, and now it's going to be on Monty rotating around. Vez is going to be able to find one, Vez finds the second one, Disciple does go down, and Fox is very, very low. On top around the corner, Davey's going to be able to chime in with a second frag himself. And there it is, Monty and Vez get it done at the B-bomb site. What a hold from Disciple and Vez. And again, like I said, Vez, he's now almost caught up to Pex. He's sitting at 23 and 15, so another triple for him on the round, and he's just locking it down at the B-bomb site. They have nowhere to go. Affinity, they haven't gotten much after the... They got the pistol round, that's it. It's been all yeah. ace after that. Yeah, the defense at both of these sites right now is just locked down. You're, you're exactly right. That one was... Vez and Disciple, so much pressure was put on those guys. Like we said, that boost really takes a third player away from that B-bomb site. A third player who's doing absolutely nothing except that boost. So, 
Very, very good defense by them. Very good management of the aggro and, and just able to stay alive for long enough to have the rotations come in. And this is going to force Affinity. They do they do force by behind this. And this is going to force them back over towards this A bomb site. Hoping that they can find a little bit more success here. Maxaki's got an angle over towards those long A uh, hallways with that AWP's far back. Pex as well peering down into middle. Yeah, I don't like this position site. from Pex though. He's very aggressive up on top, and it's going to take him a, a little bit to drop down. So, I mean, Maxaki, he's got a good angle again, like you said, but with with where okay, Pex does does decide to drop down. With where Pex was playing, that angle is just it's overly aggressive. It's unnecessary. Yeah, but here comes the hit. The rotations are coming in as well, but Pex and Maxaki are all alone for some time. Molotov's going to go down. Maxaki misses the off shot. Pex turns around. He does grab one. He's got to be a hero here, but he can't get any more than that. Arya trades him off, so the A-bomb site is open. But Monty comes in to get one. It's going to be a three-on-three. Three. Yeah, big rotation coming out here from the CT side, and they're already making their way over towards this bomb site. Disciple has the AWP now. Abe is going to go down. Monty, he's also playing very, very well. Got one more to beat over there behind the wood wall. That's going to be Arya holding a nice angle there, but he's going to get spammed up. Oh, and Vez is going to be able to hit the wall bang on him, takes him down, and now we're down to a 1v1. And look at the HP value for Davey, and this smoke could come out and be very, very crucial. And Davey already pushing up, doesn't even give him a chance. Good play from Davey in the late game. Yeah, he, he peeks and he sees him just before he crouches for the defuse, but... They do win the round, but here's the dangerous part. They lost four there. It wasn't a clean victory, so the economy is still low. He does drop that AK-47, but if they lose this one and get reset, that, that's pretty much that's pretty much the match right there. So this round is crucially important. It's going to be a full buy out of Ace. Maxaki still does have that AWP in his hands. Yeah, and he's, he's continued to buy this, but he's sitting on nine frags, so he's not really having that much of an impact with that AWP th thus far in the CT side half. I mean, he got some great scout kills. I mean, he got the 3K with the scout, but since then, I don't think he's really done anything. He got six kills on the terrorist side and three on the CT so far, so he's been relatively quiet. And they're going to go they're for that boost, boost again. again. Yeah, I was just going to say, they're doing that boost again, and it hasn't been spotted yet, so this is actually... If they keep going towards A, it actually looks like they're falling off, uh, Affinity falling off back towards B, so... They gain that they gain that connector control. They they see if there's anyone playing in there to push him back or to trade those kills out, but then they're just gonna fall immediately back towards B, and this is gonna be a lot of work again put onto Vez and Disciple. But they did so well holding it the last time and Disciple playing behind Chicken Coop might be able to pick off a couple unsuspecting terrorists as they encroach on his position. But Max Aki, he does put that boost to work, and they are able to pick off that first kill. I'm so I'm surprised they haven't broken this stack. Here comes the execute. They need to do it now. Does Look at how fast that rotation is gonna be though. Yeah, they're already in. They're delayed so well. Disciple does grab one from the chicken coop. He's doing very, very well. He flashes just to delay. But Davey is going to be able to find one and still playing back by the chicken coop as Disciple. He swings, but Abe, nice snap headshot onto him. And Abe trying to clear out to the site. Maxaki finds one. Monty also, and this is going to leave Fox in a one versus three. He's going to be able to get that bomb plant, so it should be another buy round after this. Nice headshot onto one. Looking for the second one to spray down. Not connecting it. And Pex is going to be able to pull out the pistol and take him down, so... A little lackluster there at the end. Fox with a beautiful headshot followed up by one of ugly spray. <laughs> brutal. Brutal. Fatality. But that is the money <laughs> reset, and that's actually that's scary because Fox is the only one with money. He's got 4K, so he could buy an AK-47, but if they want to play for the win here, this is going to be a very scary buy, and they might just choose to play for the tie. Save one more. Fox will be able to drop an AWP and they'll be able to have AKs behind it. But nope, they actually just forced by. So they're going to go for the win. This is a crucial round to do it in. Alrighty, so once again, it's going to be four Tech 9s and an AK-47 on the board here. Let's see if Affinity can get anything going because they have been very quiet on their terrorist side. They've only won two rounds so far out of 10. Or out of 9. Can't do math. It's getting late. It looks like they're going to go straight for the same, maybe like that pistol round strat that they had before where they drop down out of boost and go towards the CT connector. That Molotov is going to make them rethink that position. Good use yeah, of is, the utility. They're just going to wait it out. A lot's going to be on how Disciple plays this. If he's going to be able to fall back, if he's going to be able to survive, if he just gets dropped. So they're going to... Actually, that smoke scares him away as well, so... Yeah, good, yeah. good use right there of that smoke grenade. Going to drop that up on top of boost and... Max Aki, once again, going to open things up. So as soon as I talked a little smack about him with that AWP, he picks up a couple of frags, a couple of key frags in the last couple of rounds, too. So he drops the lurker in mid. That's Arya down and out, and that's going to leave all four members over that's, here by drop. 
that's a silly kill to give up right now as well. The focus of your attack is these four players coming out drop. You're just there to support and lurk and flank. And look at the rotation already coming in. Disciple's going to be able to draw one. Disciple's going to be able to find two. Jason R goes into one. But Vez is there for the refrag, and he got himself into a really good position. And right around the corner is Jason R. But Monty cleans him up from the chicken coop, and that's going to be match point now for Ace. They're looking to go double up here on victories tonight. Yeah, putting together a pair of really, really nice matches. Especially in this one, when they, you know, they went up 4-0, then they went down to 8-4, and they, and they got those last three. So some great, great adjustments on their terror side. All that's left here is for them to finish it up. They do have five map points in Affinity. This economy has not looked good in the past few rounds. They got a scout, a naked scout onto Arya, and then just tech nines and, and armor pistols again for the rest of them. Naxaki, he's going to have a shot here, but Arya jumps over the, over the op shot. He's going to go for that scout shot. Oh, that nade doesn't do too much damage. Down to 91. Yeah, I thought for sure it was going to do some more. Maxaki's got to be careful because Arya down there in the bottom of mid, but there it is, another useless kill given up. He's all well, by he, himself, he had, no he, chance he, for he, trade. He's the only one with a he's the only one with a long range gun. He's got to go for something now. Pex is just going to clean things up behind the smoke. Maxaki repositions himself nicely. A nice headshot onto Abe. Pex actually burns himself up. Maxaki showing <laughs> some skills there. 180 or out. He grabs Fox. And it's just down to Jason R, 15 to 10. This is going to go the way Ace Gaming, so they're going to go 2-0 on the night. That's going to put them 2-4 on the season.